This is the car phone suppression system. In this background, there's over 287,000 vehicle fires that happen every year with up to 600 resulting in fatalities and billions of dollars of loss. And our objective is to be able to have a better defensive solution to vehicle fires as many vehicles have very good preventative but not defensive solutions to stop vehicle fires. And it takes first responders five to 10 minutes to reach an emergency and up to 30 minutes or longer in rural areas. And we're looking to be able to suppress the fire. We're able to keep it contained to give first responders more time, more time to rescue people. And the current solutions right now are costly to the consumer and we're looking to make a more affordable option. A more recent event was with the Las Vegas Raiders player that crashed into another vehicle going over 100 miles per hour resulting in a vehicle fire and loss of death and we were hoping that if we had our system there there would be a chance that we'd be able to put out the fire just in case uh, if the patient didn't die on impact that we'd be able to put out the fire and give the first responders more time to be able to get in there and, and rescue them and get them to the hospital our objectives are to make an autonomous, independent system that's not connected to the vehicle, be effective at taking out Class A and B fires, and be an affordable option to the average consumer. A lot of research went into the system. We worked with the Department of Chemistry to discuss different fire retardant foams, mixtures, and what we can use. We talked to the people at Extinguish LTD about different solutions they're working on in the characteristics of a good system they've seen and how it's developed. We talked with Amrix Fire about their current solutions, the impact on the environment, and the commercialization options for their fire suppression systems. We worked with the graduate student Brandon that was working in commercializations of different methods for the system. We'll work closely there. And just a bunch of people at UNLV at the bottom that helped us design and develop the system. Uh, there's three main components of the system. We have our uh, microcontrollers and sensors. So we have an infrared CO2 and light sensor. And that's connected to a relay that will set off the pump that's 12 to 20 volts and able to push out six gallons per minute with the tank that is able to hold about six gallons that would be all stored into the trunk of the vehicle. Uh, the foam would be pushed into a Y splitter that has two different nozzles as well. One will be shooting directly into the fire, one would surround the area just in case it's spread out. On the left we can see the, just our PCB design and overall design. On the right we get to see a overall design we can see the battery that powers the buck regulator that will power the Arduino and then the trigger relay is set off by two of the three sensors going off that can set off the relay that's also powered by the battery that will set off the pump and uh, suppress the fire and on the left we can see just the different uh, experiments they did with different nozzles in the top two are the ones we went with the top one being the direct nozzle that sprayed straight and the Lewis it's the one that had a more of a mushroom effect around. And we're able to put out class A fires for about 4.5 seconds, and class B in about 9.5 seconds. And class C, we didn't test too much just because of it. It's outside the scope of our project and what we wanted to do. Right here, we can see different flow rates of the concentrate and without the concentrate. And we had a better flow rate with the concentrate because it's more of a foam and air and water. It was able to push through, and we were able to push out more gallons per minute. About 71% of the people did not know or are unsure of their vehicle's capabilities of preventing fires and what happens if a fire happened. And 78 of surveys were not interested in purchasing a current aftermarket uh, suppression system where we're looking to change that. Our final prototype came out to about $550 and we're hoping with commercialization to come out to $350. Future work we would want to do is to have more less water-based solutions, be able to work in colder environments and make a better system that's standalone and uh, better at fire detection, more sensors. Right here, if you have any additional uh, information about our team or, or videos and uh, interviews we did with firefighters, you can check that out. 
and any questions can go here. Thank you much for your time.